why was this the opportunity? Uh, it, it was, and I mean, maybe I was too honest that day um, with how I was feeling in, in that exact moment. Uh, so, uh, but it's in the past. Uh, wow, I don't know if I missed something here, but this came completely out of left field. A couple of weeks ago, Kyle Dubas and the Toronto Maple Leafs got knocked out in the second round by the Florida Panthers, where the following day he went on a press conference with the Leafs talking about his availability for next season, and he said, it's either the Toronto Maple Leafs or nothing. I either stay with the club or I take some time off to reflect. There will not be a scenario where I will be with another team. Fast forward a couple of weeks and today we get the news that Kyle Dubas gets hired by the Pittsburgh Penguins as president of hockey operations. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I did not see it coming. I didn't think that Dubas was coming back to the NHL anytime soon. I thought if anything, he would take some time off, spend it with his family, recharge his batteries, and then go over to the Senators or something like that. That was realistic. But to fire Brian Burke this offseason and then replace him with Kyle Dubas? You couldn't have written it, man. And I want to know your thoughts in the comment section below. First of all, Penguins fans watching this, what do you think of Kyle Dubas being your next president of hockey operations? Personally, this is his first time in this role, and I think it should be interesting. You know, I don't know what to expect from the guy. He's made some interesting moves with the Leafs, and we'll see how he contributes to trades and whatnot. For now, Dubas will also handle the GM duties as an interim because they don't actually have a real general manager after they fired Hextall. But until then, I am definitely intrigued to see how he handles things because this is definitely going to be different. You know, he doesn't have the pressure of being in a Canadian market. Penguins are still a pretty big fan base, but definitely not as fierce as the Toronto Maple Leafs. And that's exactly what I wanted to transition to now. Leafs fans... I want to know how you feel about this, because at the end of your run in the playoffs, Dubas had you thinking one completely different thing to what actually happened. You thought he was focused on, you know, preparing for next year, hopefully getting rid of one of the core four players for a huge haul in return, listening to trade offers. Not only did he leave, but he also lied to you guys when he said that this was the only place he wanted to be right now. If it wasn't here, it would be nowhere. And him and Shanahan parted ways, so people were like, okay, I guess he'll be taking some time off. But nope, he's right back to it with the Pittsburgh Penguins. So yeah, be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to know. And yeah, I really thought the last time that we talked about Dubas, it would be the last time for a while until he got a new coaching role or some sort of news came out, but I didn't expect it to be so soon. And for question of the day, I want to ask you guys, did you actually see this one coming? Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, I'll be sure to catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out and take care.